All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Promethean Active Panel and the ways that you can get your computer connected to this panel, and as well as how to connect something like a mobile device, whether it's a phone or an iPad. So the first thing you wanna do is power on the panel. I just hit the power button here on the panel itself. You can also use the power button on the remote, which is right there at the top. And chances are you'll be greeted with this screen here, basically telling you that it's waiting for a wired connection, but you do have an option for a wireless connection as well. We're gonna go into each of those. So first, let's talk about how to do a physical or a wired connection. We'd wanna look for are these two cables. This is your HDMI cable. This is the cable that's responsible for both the video and audio from transmitting that from your laptop to the panel itself. So again, video and audio, that's the HDMI and the connector looks like that. And then you'll also want to enable touchscreen, which is controlled by the USB. So if you find these two cables, chances are they're somewhere near your panel on the desk or somewhere near it. You wanna get both of those plugged into your computer. Just make sure you have that one angled the right way. And don't forget the USB, otherwise touch will not work. And as you can see, everything should automatically transmit. Now I have the full wired connection with the HDMI and the USB. So assuming that you plugged in both, you should have picture, sound, and touch. And you can test that by grabbing something and moving it around. This is probably the most reliable way to connect because it's an actual wired connection. You don't have to worry about any signal drops or anything like that that could come with wireless. But um, that's just the first option here. Next, we're gonna take a look at how to wirelessly connect. To wirelessly connect your computer, assuming you don't have those plugged in, so no need to have those plugged in at all, and the one major benefit of a wireless connection is obvious. You can be wireless and walk around your classroom and you know project something. You can even enable touch wirelessly. So I wanna show that, how to do that here from this laptop. Now what you want to do is go to the software center to make sure you have this software installed. It is called Screen Share. So in this software center, I don't know if you saw the icon that I clicked here, it is this one right here, the EASD Software Center. You want to look for the app that looks like this. It's a blue circle called Screen Share. If you don't see it, if you just search for Screen using the search bar in the upper right hand corner, press enter, it should be the first result. So go ahead and click that. I already have it installed, but if you don't, it will say install there and you'd go, in, go ahead and install that. After it's installed, you can open up the screen share icon on your desktop. And on your, on your panel, make sure it's on. You can tap any of the three little arrows to bring up this kind of toolbar, slider, it doesn't matter which one you click, it's all the same. You can also hit the flame button on the remote and then you'll see the same icon here for screen share. If you tap that, I don't know if I tap that good enough, there it is. You'll see the name of the panel, EAS121, and then the panel ID, which is basically the code that you'll have to type in to get connected to this display. Going back to my computer here, I can see the share screen to active panel kind of window opened up. It's prompting me for the code. So I'll go ahead and type in 765772. And I can type in my name. And it's asking if I can control foam or control from panel touchback. This is an option that's only available if you are using the Windows app, which is what we're doing here, the one that we installed from the software center. What touchback means is that I would able to, I'd be able to control my computer as it's wirelessly casting by touching this screen. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna check this box to enable touchback and I'm gonna to ask to enter the waiting room. Assuming I entered the code correctly, it should show up as someone waiting now. So there's a little one there saying that it was accepted. If I tap that, I'll see my name there and the green dot indicating that touchback is enabled. And 
Additional people could get into this, but we're going to talk about how to add additional devices to this waiting room so students can cast like their tablets or phones or whatever else. Um, you can kind of have a waiting room and even show multiple devices. I'll touch on that in a separate video. All right, so here we are wirelessly projecting the green rectangle around my screen that is on the laptop as well as the touch panel is indicating that touchback is enabled so you should be able to interact with this display and actually you know use the computer with either your hand or the stylus and you don't have to have anything connected to this so that's the major benefit of this wireless method of connection is that you can you know walk around your room and be displaying something and even have students come up and use the board and interact with certain elements. So if you're using a flip chart in Active Inspire, showing a video or something like that, just know that since this is a wireless connection, it is not going to be as stable or reliable or even responsive as you know your wired connection. This is the most reliable, strong connection that you can have because it is a direct connection between your laptop and this panel. You may experience some minor delays. You could have connectivity issues or dropouts potentially. I'm not saying that it'll be frequent or common. We are still gonna get to know how these panels act over time. Um, but this is just one option that you have. What I'd recommend doing is try both. See which one you know works best for you. And perhaps you'll find that different usage scenarios will work better for, you know, walking around the room versus connecting. You can use both of these solutions in whatever way works best for you in your setup. So that was basically showing how to connect your laptop to this touch panel using the wired connection method. Just as a recap here, don't forget to plug in USB for touch and the HDMI for audio and video. That's the best way to do it as far as speaking about reliability and signal strength and just not having delays or anything like that. If you're ever showing any videos, I would recommend doing it with this so that way the audio syncs up and everything is going to be you know, stable and reliable. If you're looking to show something, um, a flip chart or a still image or a diagram or a chart or something like that, and you'd wanna have some flexibility to walk around the room, definitely uh, check out the wireless connection method. And remember, remember to enable that touchback if you want to have touch screen functionality or don't enable it if you don't want to have students accidentally touching it and messing with your computer. Here I'm going to quickly show you how to end a wireless connection session between your laptop and your new active panel. If you are connected wirelessly using that screen share app from your computer, and then remember I have the touchback enabled here, um, if you want to end the session so that way you're no longer wirelessly, wirelessly connecting, all you need to do here is tap this little icon that's probably in the lower right hand corner. It'll take you back to the waiting room where you can see your device listed with a name that you assigned. And then there's a little X. If you just tap that X, it'll ask you if you want to end sharing. You can just tap that end sharing option there. And now you are cleared from the waiting room. If you look back at your laptop, you'll no longer see that rectangle for touchback. And that rectangle is green if touchback is enabled and it's orange if it's not enabled. So if you see no rectangle, that's a good indicator saying that you are not connected at all to this device wirelessly. One thing I wanna mention about the wireless connection between your laptop and the active panel or even student devices in the active panel, if it's connected wirelessly, you do not have access to screen extend. So you only have the ability to duplicate or clone whatever's on your display to the panel. So where if you connect your panel to your laptop using the cables or the wires, the HDMI and the USB for touch, you have full functionality of the Windows operating system to be able to extend your desktop. And if you don't know what it means to extend, that's where you have one screen space here and a longer screen space or a wider screen space over here. So you can have email on your laptop and a flip chart on the second half of your screen. It literally just extends. You do not get that functionality when you are connected wirelessly like this.